I'm Ben, and this is my friend Liz, and this is my engine, Diesel 20212. I heard tales of a magic engine here on this island. Some say that it was gone missing for almost 15 years, and no one has even cared of searching for it. I don't know any magic engines here on Sodor. Do you guys know anything? I think I know who you're talking about, James. Lady. Who's Lady? You were at the steamworks during that time. Something serious must have happened to you because you were there for several days. I'm going to be late! I am leaving Tidmouth! Well, if Percy's leaving, I'm not staying either. I am leaving too! Come on, Oliver! We're leaving to go stay on our little western branch line! Oh yeah? Well, I'm going with Donald. Guys, please, don't leave! Now what, sir? We lost at least six members or more. I have to take drastic measures and... <sighs> ask for the Diesel's help. Good morning, steamers. What do you all want? Oh, haven't you heard? Your worthies have told them to invite those diesels to come assist you steamers until the other steamers return. If they can. Wait. So it wasn't a dream after all? What are you talking about? I had a dream last night that most of our friends left Timoth in a rage. Edward, it wasn't a dream. Look around you. <gasps> no, it's not true. You get too comfortable now because we're your roommates. And don't you get comfortable too, Diesel Ten. Oh, y uh, yes, sir. Now, as you can see, we are short on steam engines, so I expect all of you diesels to be on your best behavior here. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now then, your temporary jobs. Diesel Ten, you will be taking Henry's goods trains and his flying kipper run in the mornings. Aaron and Bert, you two will be taking goods trains as well. Paxton and D do six one. You two will be taking coaches. Diesel, you will be taking the express. It would be an honor, sir. What about me, sir? You will be in the yard today with Edward. Thomas and Toby, you will continue working at the quarry as I have said last night. Yes, yes sir. sir. Right then. Now off to work, all of you. If you'll excuse me, I have some important work to do in my office. I'll see you later, 20212. I'm going to start preparing for our search tomorrow morning. Okay, Liz. See you soon. James told me about you yesterday. Yes, I'm the new Diesel everyone has been talking about. But you must know, Edward, that I won't be here long. See, my driver's friend is on a quest to find a special engine. I know, 20212. James told us about it. I first didn't understand what they were talking about, but Thomas says it's a magic engine called Lady. Lady? Is that the engine's name? Yes, according to my friend Thomas. Shoot! 
We should have told that to Liz before she left. Ah, well, I'll tell her this evening. She's at the Soto Library, doing some research to find this lady. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Thomas told me where she stays, but he doesn't remember the location. He said it's called the Magic Railroad. There are some magic buffers hidden in the valley somewhere, which is the entrance to the railroad. Maybe we should go searching for them now. Sorry, 2212, but we were told to stay in the yard. Here you go, Diesel. Take care now. Edward, Duck is having some trouble with the train of troublesome trucks on Gordon's hill. He needs a back engine to push him up. Well, at least it isn't Gorn again. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll be back, 20212. Can you look after the yard for me while I'm gone? Um, sure. Driver, why'd you have to call for help? I don't need anyone's help. I can pull this train myself! Hold back! Hold back! <sighs> Come on, Doc. Let's get this train up. I don't need your help, Edward. I can do it myself. Don't be silly, Doc. I know you're having a hard time. <sighs> All right. I do need help, but this doesn't mean that I'll be coming back to Sidmouth. Okay, Edward! I've reached the top! I can take it from here! Alright! Don't let those trucks push you into a... Barber shop! <laughs> I wonder what's that? Edward! Go as fast as you can! Doug's train is chasing us! Why do I get the feeling that this is familiar? Stop you trucks! I haven't had an accident in a long time, and I don't want to break my no incident record. Stop! <laughs> Help! <sighs> Where? Where am I? What is this place? I don't know, but I have a feeling we're not on Soto anymore. Let's look around and see if we can find anybody. Driver, there's something up ahead. Who are you? Edward. Please help me. How do you know my name? I know every engine on Sodor because I am Lady, the magic engine who runs the magic railroad. Wait, 
You mean to tell me that I'm on? Yes, you enter the railroad through those old buffers in the hidden valley. What's wrong? I am slowly fading away, Edward, and so is my railroad. Why and how? Has Thomas ever told you the tale on how he came to my railroad? Yes, he told to me two nights ago. Well, many people believe magic gold dust is the power that keeps this railroad and me alive. Unfortunately, they are wrong. There is a power greater than just gold dust. It's friendship. You don't know how powerful the bondings between friends can be. On Sodor, there are so many friends and less enemies, which is why Sodor is the power source of my railroad. But <coughs> now that many of your friends have left one another and don't want to see each other again, the bonds are breaking, and my railroad is dying. Oh no! Is there anything I can do to help? There is hope. If you can make the engines become friends again, then my railroad will come back. But no two things. If you don't restore the bonds, then you and your friends' existence could be at stake, since my railroad is linked to the existence of Sodor. Well, I will do my best. And please, don't tell any of the Diesels the location to the Magic Railroad. I know Diesel 10 has returned and is still after me. So I don't want him to find the Magic Railroad. Can you promise me that? I promise, m'lady. Please hurry, Edward. <coughs> Before it's too late. Don't worry, lady. I'll help you get your railroad back. I could have sworn I saw Edward coming down this track. Where did he go? Oh well, I must have been seeing things. Whoa, that was some ride, eh, Bert? Yeah, sure. Why don't we take Duck's train back to the yard? Then we can plan on how to get the engines back together. Good idea, driver. I don't know what happened, sir. A coupling must have broken, sir. And those trucks chased after Edward. I haven't heard any reports on where Edward is. I hope he didn't get into a horrible crash. Were you looking for these? Edward! You didn't crash! How did you manage to stop those tropes and trucks? Let's just say that some buffers stopped me. Well, I'm glad there was no accident. But Doc, there might have been one if you hadn't treated the trucks roughly. Please, sir. He didn't mean to cause it. No, it's alright, Edward. How are things going, by the way, after you and Oliver left? And have you heard anything from the others? Well, things have been kind of lonely on our little western branch line. As for the others, I heard Percy is staying at the shed by Brenham Docks, and James is at the waste dump with Whiff, as was the only place available for him. He refused to stay at the steamworks with Victor. Just to let you know, Edward, I'm not coming back until Donald apologizes for saying that I quack. You know what he did really hurt my feelings. <sighs> this isn't going to be as easy as I thought it would be. What? Oh, uh, nothing, sir. I, uh, I must hurry back to the yard. 2212 must be worried about me. Things are going just splendid, boys. Thanks to you, Harry and Bert. 
You'll settle your bill of Ben Roach when you made them get into that nasty and unexplained accident with Gordon and Emily. That jam signal made the whole plan work even better. No problem, boss! And you, D261. That was very clever to be hiding behind that line of trucks and pretending to be Duck, making fun of Donald's Duck. Well, Moms of Mickery actually paid off. And Diesel, your plan of making quacking noise that Duck was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I never knew you could take a joke at that too far. Well. Duck was my least favorite Steamy ever since I arrived on Sodor all those years ago. I always thought to myself, Duck, what a stupid name for an engine. <laughs> <laughs> um, Diesel 10, it, it is a joke, right? I mean, we're just having fun with the Steamies, like a good game. In a way, it sort of is past them. A game I call to drive away the Steamies and check over the railway. But one thing that's on my mind now is that special engine Diesel 20212 has been talking about lately. We should ask several questions about this engine and see why it is so special. Who knows, maybe this 20212 could be of use to us Diesels. <laughs>